Some other breaking news now for you. Several people have been shot at the New Hampshire State Psychiatric Hospital. This is a live look at the scene. State police say there were multiple victims. Local news outlets are reporting the suspect is dead. That's new information. We started following this story about 20 minutes ago. You know, it's been two weeks since 11 year old Dominic Davis was shot and killed in the West End. Five others were hurt and so far no arrests have been made. Now a reward has been issued in the case as police try to find the person or people responsible. Yeah, and Brittany Harry has our continuing coverage. What are you learning about this, Brittany? Well, that's exactly right. It's a $5,000 reward by the ATF that really, you know, that is for the person that can help Cincinnati police and the ATF who are working collectively thoroughly on this investigation, trying to find the identity of the person that eventually will lead to an arrest and conviction of whoever shot and killed Dominic Davis and injured all those other people at the West End exactly two weeks ago. So as I mentioned, an ongoing investigation between these two agencies who are hoping that this reward will prompt someone to come forward. The heinousness of this crime is unbelievable. It was exactly two weeks ago today, 22 shots rang out in the West End. The shooting happened near the intersection of Jones and Wade Streets, where innocent people were hurt by gunfire. Sadly, 11-year-old Dominic Davis was killed. This murder uh, was brought to our attention uh, because we believe that a machine gun conversion device was used. Uh, we're basing that off of the amount of evidence found at the scene, the number of people that were shot in a very short amount of time. And of course, the acoustic recordings of this of the shooting, uh, so that makes it uh, of more interest to ATF than normal. John Noakes says the gun police believe was used in this crime is commonly referred to as a Glock switch. The official term he says is a machine gun conversion device, which takes a semi-automatic handgun that's legal and converts it into a machine gun, which is illegal. Noakes says they can fire about 30 rounds in less than two seconds. Cincinnati police told me today they don't have any additional updates to provide as it relates to this ongoing investigation, but they emphasize public tips are key. Meanwhile, the ATF is ready to give that $5,000 reward to the person who helps solve the case. Now we felt like at this time there's probably someone out there who has some, different, uh, some additional information we could use uh, to prosecute those responsible, and we're hoping that this reward will help prompt them to come forward is why, we, why we've chosen to do this. Now, of course, there are several ways that you can submit a tip either to Cincinnati police or to the ATF, and they're urging people to do so. And just because this is a federal investigation, maybe you're a little iffy about coming forward, but they say that you shouldn't be because there's actually more protections that are in place for witnesses. So if you have any information, please contact them. And we have information on where you can do that on our website right now at fox19now.com. I'm reporting live from Cincinnati Police Headquarters, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now.